hello, Professor, and anyone else who finds themselves on this YouTube video. It's your boy, Mia here, and today I would like to take this video to introduce you to one of my favorite artists, if you aren't yet familiar, Jeff Rosenstock. Musically, this man is as versatile as a strip of duct tape, featuring a number of instruments in his music and seamlessly genre-bending the sounds of ska and DIY punk with acoustics and even dabbling a little bit in synth punk. It's the kind of music that will evoke emotion no matter who's listening. Now this guy, let me tell you, is without a doubt a musical genius. But before I get ahead of myself, let's take a look at some of the history and background on this fine gentleman, shall we? Our DIY punk prince was born on September 7th, 1982. Native to Long Island, New York, it's easy to assume that his exposure to music and the punk scene came pretty early on. He entered the realm of music in his adolescent years, covering angsty teen anthems from the band Green Day in 1995 with his friend Joe Werfelman. Over the next three years, the duo would expand and find their own sense of self, and would soon form the band The Arrogant Sons of Bitches. They were ska punk, if you couldn't tell by their band name. Okay. Also, for the purposes of this video and the purposes of decency, we will be calling them by their acronym ASOB. It is a grade. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So it's after the second. The group released their first album, Built to Fail, in 1998 and soon began to climb their way onto the radar. During their run, ASOB released two albums and two EPs and even performed at the Warp Tour once upon a time. However, the caveat to the evolution of Jeff Rosenstock is his outgrowing of the band. In 2004, ASOB would break up with their final self titled release, coming out in 2006. Hello! My name's Jeff Rosenstock. In between the breakup of ASOB and as many projects to come, Rosenstock would work for a company called Merch Direct. Fun spots. They sold merchandise for a large variety of bands that Jeff Rosenstock would then pack and ship off to all the emo teens and middle-aged men who adored their alt heroes. But one day, as if it were a Christmas miracle, Jeff Rosenstock would record a little ditty on his microphone on his power bug called Sweet Home Canada and put it on his MySpace page on December 4th, 24th, 2004. What would I name this project, he thought, and he thought, and he thought, on the music industry. And oh boy, would he. <laughs> Rosenstock continued to develop this project with its first release in 2005, titled Album Minus the Band. It's pretty straightforward considering that the album is a beautiful compilation of unlicensed music files and free trials of music software. That along with Jeff's sweet rasp and distinctly whiny vocals, of course. The release was the very epitome of DIY music, having been released for free, a key part in Jeff's music even today. Soon the band would gain many more members, but... The list is very lengthy, so I'll just run the names on the screen real quick. Another few months of sifting through audio tracks, recording, and producing went by, and Jeff gave to the world to leave or die in Long Island. With this bomb, the music industry began to grow, which demanded a tour. Jeff was notoriously known for bringing your own band concerts, in which he invited attendees to bring their own instruments, drums, trumpets, harmonicas, whatever, to the event and just play alongside him. They got to jam. This made for a very unique concert experience, and it was a feature adopted by some of Jeff's favorite ska influences. They also, in DIY fashion, offered free stencils and paints so that concert goers could bring their own t-shirts and make their very own merch. As he began to gain more traction, Jeff had several artists looking to him to create music in a very similar manner, thus birthing quote-unquote records in 2007. The cool thing about the label is that it's completely donation-based so that you can pay what you want to listen to the music, whether it's $50 or absolutely free. I want to recognize that this was a very ballsy and quite revolutionary thing for its time as platforms like SoundCloud, Spotify, and Bandcamp hadn't come out yet. Then a bunch of posers decided they wanted to go and do the same thing. I'm looking at you, creep. Sorry, if you didn't get that, it was a Radiohead joke. 
However, Jeff's determination to keep on the music industry away from corporate privatization is the thing that would actually doom the project. They found it increasingly difficult to establish themselves as a legitimate band without having a label to back them. Even with their growing following, venue after venue rejected them, making it extremely tiresome to continue making music. The band would eventually dissolve toward the beginning of 2014. Though it was an upsetting breakup, it would bring Jeff to side one dummy records. He had worked on solo pieces before, releasing I Look Like Shit during 2012 and releasing Summer shortly after. However, with side one dummy records, Jeff Rosenstock was able to release his second solo album, in traditional fashion during 2015. The High Energy album had a number of hits that skyrocketed Rosenstock up the cast system of punk. This collaboration with the record company would allow Jeff to create a beautiful discography of solo music along with a cult following of self-deprecating but nonetheless loyal DIY punks like myself. After touring with crazy success, Jeff Rosenstock released the album Worry in 2016. It's the perfect title to encapsulate the album thematically. It's anxiety ridden, it's worry. I have to admit that I am a little bit emotionally tied to this album as it is my favorite thus far. The lyricism is impeccable, as with any other Jeff Rosenstock album, but they're also very meta. It features a myriad of different sounds and styles that blend together really coherently to create this beautiful story album of love, loss, reflection, and angst. This album also ranks so highly for me, especially because of the last five tracks and the way that they kind of blend together and create one whole storyline with each other. The album received praise from all around, having ranked number one record on USA Today and even scoring a review from Pitchfork, which is an amazing prestige in the music community. After a beautiful tour and the short film on the recording process of Worry, Jeff Rosenstock released Post on a protest album of sorts on January 1st, 2018. I'd say it's a great way to have started off the new year and he continued touring throughout. Even with the immense amount of work that this has all brought, Jeff has still continued to work on other projects. He's the creator of the music for Cartoon Network's show, Craig of the Creek. Check out this clip of the opening and closing credits. Who's gonna help when the ginger overwhelms and the mystery is a pile of high? Who's gonna be around, never gonna let you down when you run a wild ride? Your friends are always by your side. Just like I drew it. Now try and tell me that this is not better than the stupid SpongeBob jingle that's been seared into your brain since you were five. Well, maybe not. You're a brain professor. I think that was more of mine. Jeff is also currently in a band called Antarctica Vespucci. It's an indie rock project put together by him and Chris Farron of Fake Problems and started back in 2014 after the dissolution of Bomb Industry. They actually just finished their November 2018 tour in which they went all across America and And on top of all of that, Jeff also founded Really Records in which he prints vinyls for all of his projects. He continues to release zip files of his albums on Pay What You Please platforms, still embracing the DIY ethic. In conclusion, the man is both a busy bee and a musical master. Love it or hate it, Jeff's music will undoubtedly make you feel something, and I think that's a major feat to have accomplished it all. By the way, I have all of my sources and songs used listed in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day!